this video I'll be showing you how to insert walls um, in your rubber projects. Um, I'll be also discussing the concept of location lines and how they impact the placement of your walls in your project. Um, we'll be also talking about constraints of the walls, so your base constraints and your top uh, level constraints for the walls. And then finally how to edit the wall assembly. So if we open up our Revit uh, project, um, once you've got your grid line set up and once you've got your levels uh, in place, you can start inserting walls. And to do that, click on this arrow and select architectural wall. And then, you know, by default, it will give you a basic, your basic wall double brick 270 um, as the wall, uh, as the wall type. Uh, we want we can change of course we might want to say go with a generic wall uh, or one that has timber in it but for now let's just stick to the double brick um, now before we um, before we add the wall we might want to look at the material composition of that wall so to do that go to edit type and then go to edit and as you can see, this, this is the wall assembly, it's composed of three layers, the structure which is masonry, and it has a thermal, a thermal layer, uh, and then a finish. Now, let's um, duplicate this wall to create you know, a, new, uh, a new wall assembly, which have, sort of has the same composition, but differs slightly, so say this is still 270, and we want to add the 12 mil uh, gypsum board. So we renamed that after we duplicated it. And then go to edit and say insert a layer. Now these layers over here, as you can see, um, they're closest to that exterior side label. And that tells us that these would be more towards our exterior side of the wall. So these, as you go up, this table from bottom to top, you move closer to the exterior side. Um, now we can select a function for that, so for, for the new layer, so say this is a finish, a second finish, and let's say we want to associate that with gypsum. So, of course, you know, given that I've already, I'd already selected gypsum um, beforehand. Um, you can search for any of these materials, so let's say gypsum and uh, your wallboard, you can select that. This over here gives you the graphics and the color. You can change that. Also, um, the surface pattern. So you can pick any surface pattern for it to be revealed. Um, I'll talk more about that later on. Um, but let's go with this material and let's assign a thickness and so let's say this is 12 mil uh, and keep everything the same so click OK um, and click OK so now we're ready to insert our wall in our in our mall um, the location line so you can either go with uh, finish face interior, finish face exterior, or uh, wall center line. So I'll show you the differences. If I select wall center line, basically the center of the wall would be located in my grid line, as you can see. Whereas if I were to select, uh, say, finish face exterior, the exterior side of the wall um, would be located at the grid line. So we know this is the exterior side because if you have a look here so you see these two arrows these point to the exterior side and these are on the exterior end of the grid line now another option is to um, is to choose your location line so that your interior side is at the finish um, at the finish face so As you can see over here, um, this interior side of the wall uh, is at the grid line. So I would actually usually um, 
go with you know either interior or exterior face but that's really up to you um, and what else do we want to talk about so yeah the constraints so the constraints you can see them from here your base constraint you can select at what level you want the base of that wall to be located at so ground floor um, the base offset how how high do you want the wall to be offset from that base um, and then a top constraint you can either leave the wall unconnected or you can connect it to a particular level and again um, you can get um, a top offset as well and always make sure that the walls are room bounding so make sure that this box is always ticked so that's the basic concept of creating wall assemblies and inserting them in Revit.